This technical series is presented by Iggy Brigado, Senior Sales Engineer for JPS Interoperability Solutions. So our bread and butter is the ACU 2000, and some of you that may have had some experience with uh, JPS ACUs in the past, we did have an ACU 1000 many years ago. Um, we moved up and upgraded our systems to include the newer ACU 2000. And it's again, it's a modular gateway that supports uh, all the telephony and radio devices that you see on the right hand side. And some of the some of the listing of modules we have here, which I'll talk about in a little bit more detail in a moment. You also have controllers that actually control the gateway and that's their name uh, describes what that device does. It controls the gateway. Again, we don't use servers to maintain the interoperability. The gateway itself will maintain the interoperability without the benefit of a computer or the network to support it. So that's important with regards to distributed architecture. So this is our, our three U device, and it's a very classic. Again, it's been this sort of design since the late 90s, um, but we've graduated to other things, obviously, but uh, this is still uh, one of our predominantly um, uh, more popular uh, platforms. The ACU 2000 IP provides true convergence of local interoperability, IP communications and control, and SIP. You can bring all the advantages of the open standard SIP protocol to your radio systems and add radio functionality to your network. You can control a large area interoperability system via IP. When used as part of a wide area interoperability system, WACE, the distributed design, ensures continuity of local operation in the event of network failure. You can connect radio systems of multiple sites across IP networks, remotely change radio channel or frequency over IP, and you can connect SIP VoIP devices to radios. 